Now we can do a problem on the GRE that most people got wrong when they took it on an official test. In the xy plane, what is the slope of the line whose equation is 3x minus 2y equals 8? We've got five choices. Negative 4, negative 8 thirds, 2 thirds, 3 halves, or 2. The first thing we might notice is that C and D are actually the flip-flop of each other, and since the nerds put little mistakes on the test so that we can find those little mistakes, it looks like C or D will be our answer. We're looking for the slope of the line, and most people remember slope as rise over run, and for some reason we all remember it as equaling M, because we remember the formula that Y equals MX plus b. Now we can rearrange our original formula by putting the y on the left hand side and everything else on the right so we have negative 2y equals 8 minus 3x. Then we multiply everything through by a negative and get 2y equals negative 8 plus 3x and then we rearrange the right hand side of our equation so it looks like our target equation and we get 2y equals 3x minus 8. Then we divide everything through by 2 and we get 3 halves times x minus 4 equals y. Now we've got our formula. And do you see answer A? Negative 4. Negative 4 is in our equation. Should we pick it? No. That's what people call the y-intercept. And we're looking for the slope, which is m, and that's equal to 3 halves. And that's equal to answer d. So sure enough, part of our pair was our right answer. Our answer is d. What does it really mean in the xy coordinate system to have a slope of 3 halves? Let's use our equation y equals 3 halves times x minus 4. If we make x equal to 1, then we put y at minus 2 and a half, and we can put a little dot there to remind us of that position. Then if we make x equal to 2, y equals negative 1, and there's another dot. If we make x3, then y equals a half, and there's another dot. If x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 2, and if x is equal to 5, then y is equal to 3.5. But let's try some harder numbers. What if we make x equal to negative 1, then we have to make y equal to negative 5 and a half. If we make x equal to negative 2, then y equals negative 7. And if x equals negative 3, then y equals negative 8 and a half. And look at that. We can draw a perfectly straight line through all those little dots. That's why they call it a slope. And this is the nerd slope that they use all the time on the GRE. Just look for it. It's going up from the bottom if you start at the lower left, or it's going down from the top if you start from the upper right. But it's always going in that direction. The simple way for us to draw the lines is to look for what people call the intercepts. Just make x equal to 0, and y will have to equal negative 4, and there's your y-intercept. And then if we make y equal to 0, then x is going to have to equal 8 thirds, and that's on our x-axis, and that's what it means to be the zero intercepts. That's where the lines cross those x and y intercepts, and that's what it means to have a slope of 3 halves. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.